Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandroid.com and you guys are watching the Android Overload. This is a series of nightly videos we do every weekday night where we cover the top news stories from throughout the day in the world of Android. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to it. The Galaxy Tab 3 was leaked online. A series of photos were uh, published onto our site uh, from the guys at Phone Arena and it looks, well, looks a lot like the Galaxy Tab 2. <laughs> I guess there's only so much you can do with the square, but it's shown in all of its glory, uh, pretty much just the front of the device uh, opened inside the box, and then I guess the retail packaging itself. This comes just after, you know, a few short days after the Galaxy Tab 8.0, which is the 8-inch tablet, is uh, has was leaked as well. The fact that the Galaxy Tab 3 is shown is still inside of its retail package uh, suggests that uh, official announcement should be fairly soon, so keep an eye out for that. A few pictures of the HTC M7 were also leaked. This time we have, I guess you could call it the chassis of the device, which is the back of it, and then some of the uh, inner metal material, which uh, I guess the, the digitizer and the display goes on top of, and it shows a device, you know, very similar to the HTC Droid DNA. The only difference being in the front, which shows, you know, like a 4.7 inch display or what could house a 4.7 inch display versus uh, the HTC Droid DNA's five inch screen. Some of the users in the comments pointed out uh, there could be possible uh, stereo speakers for the front. It's kind of hard to say, but it looks like that actually might might be true, uh, just judging from the pictures themselves. Of course, as most of you well know, the HTC M7 is going to be uh, HTC's new flagship device for 2013. It has all the fix-ins that you would expect from a, a top high-end smartphone. And right now, the device is rumored to be announced a week before Mobile World Congress at the end of February. So that should be almost any week now. So there's some talk that NVIDIA could be releasing some Tegra references devices, or they may be building some, uh, to give to manufacturers to brand and call their own. This is actually pretty darn smart, because this ensures that NVIDIA's Tegra Three or Tegra 4 SOC or system on chip uh, otherwise known as a CPU or processor uh, ensures that it's going to be in a bunch of devices rather than just one like we saw uh, last year there wasn't too many handsets that had a Tegra 3 inside so it's still kind of unclear uh, they mentioned emerging markets so it's still unclear whether or not this is going to be you know, like maybe low-end Tegra devices for I guess just like uh, weird bad areas of the globe <laughs> or if it's going to be uh, strictly high-end devices uh, i don't really see the high-end part but we'll have to see how that that ends up working out current rumors slated for around may or june when we'll see the first devices uh, start to uh come forth and all in all it makes a lot of sense i mean nvidia is developing these really cool controllers with screens in them uh, rip off the controller part and the screen you have essentially a really high powered smartphone just throw a little uh radio in there and you're good to go. So be on the lookout for those uh, this year actually, later this year. So Oya and the folks at Killscreen uh, hosted their own little, uh, they call it a game jam, where developers come up with a bunch of different games uh, to hopefully win, you know, a ton of cool prizes and $45,000 in cash going to, you know, whoever can come up with the awesomest stuff for the Ouya, or as our own Rob Jackson likes to call it, the Ouya! So there's a handful of games uh, spanning across uh, multiple genres like RPGs and uh, brawlers and four player shooters and whatnot for now we'll have to wait a couple more weeks to see who was or i guess the cream of the crop or who was announced as uh taking home the gold so keep an eye out for that in a future post today marks the first day that the google glass foundry kicked off this is basically a hackathon that google is throwing in san francisco with a later date in uh, new york where they invite a handful of developers over to uh, i guess the google x labs over there and uh their Googleplex, Google HQ. Their developers are learning all the ins and outs of Google Glass and uh, figuring out how to develop apps for it and just seeing what Google Glass is all about. Of course, us super geeky nerds, I guess the geeky of the geekiest, are just salivating and drooling at the thought of actually putting Google Glass on our eyes and just walking around like the Terminator and you, stop right there pulling up stats and people's power levels. It's gonna be a while before uh, we actually see Google Glass released uh, out for you know regular consumers, but uh, today 
development has officially started. So that pretty much wraps it up for today's hottest news items in the world of Android. If you guys found this video helpful at all or informative, uh, make sure you guys give it a good thumbs up so other people can see it. And don't forget to subscribe for more of our uh, Android Overload nightly videos. With that, I am Chris Chavez of Fandroid.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. What do people do? <laughs>